Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and it is a time of war in Rome. A time of total war, perhaps. We are back with more of our Rise of the Republic coverage here today, if I've done my math right, is release day. And so this is the last of the daily episodes we'll be releasing. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing this campaign continue, the best way to let me know is by leaving a comment down below. As I've said countless times, I take a look at comments and likes and consider that as my indication of what you guys are interested in watching. Now, the last session was that was a good ending on that last session we are on a very interesting war path over here against the frentani uh we've got this army that was uh, glorious defenders of teat teate oh god i don't know but that was a glorious battle that we're still suffering from and we need to push in and take care of the mountain men over here you should have seen them. They were in a terrible, they were in a worse situation, but unfortunately they'll be able to pull back and replenish more or less right away. And they do have the defense of their garrison. No, they don't because I have night battle on. <gasps> yes. Okay. So we should be able to wipe this army out. Sorry. I'm really excited. Just as a reminder, I am recording this back to back. So that means any name suggestions that you guys may have had for our legions or anything like that, I haven't been able to implement just yet. Uh, but this should be the last of the back to back episodes I record. So if you leave comments down below. I will uh, take your advice and take a look at what you're suggesting in terms of names and strategies, etc. Again, just as a reminder, I haven't played Rome to since like 2015 or something, and even then I played very little of it, and uh, I was... well, Rome to at launch. You guys understand, I'm sure. Those of you who have been with us in this Total War family for a very long time. Now, let's get some upgrades rolling out over here. Actually, wait, before we do that, let's try and stop this war here. Uh, we've got this legion ready to roll in and eliminate the stone men hopefully i don't think they have a garrison so we can do that up here initially i was going to move in and try to bribe this army i still could a 71 percent chance of success just avoiding this battle as a whole i mean i could go in there with that knight battle and and you know that'll help out but i think i'm much better off just bribing them giving me a chance to replenish my army we're going to bribe the commander. 71% chance of success. Come on, baby. You've got this. I have faith in you. Come on. Get a grip of this army. Get it? Get a grip of? Hey. So they attacked their commander. Fair enough. They're weakened. I should stop them before they return to the settlement and begin to replenish. That's my thinking here. So if I push up with this legion... Night attack. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this garrison. Look at this garrison. Uh, not showing up to the battle. Let's kill him. I would have liked to have fought. You know, I should have fought the night battle. Sorry, guys. Should have fought the night battle, just to show it off. There's actually some visual glitches we've been told in the night battles right now. Um, the smoke is a little thick or something like that, but uh, if we ever hop in, I'll show you. Now, over here, I could fortify. Fortify right outside their borders. Hmm. Could do, could do. Tempting to push towards Histonium as well. We can't take Eserenia with what we have. We could recruit some of these locals. And then overpower the garrison. Hmm. We could try it before they start recruiting more armies or anything like that. I mean, I'd be better off going after Histonium here with this army, just to be realistic. Right. Well, before we decide on that, let's deal with this situation, because this is horrifying. This is actually a little, a little troubling. But we need to move in now, and hopefully we will overpower the stone men. Oh. Oh, okay, I was expecting a challenge. Well, let's auto resolve that. Uh, we'll fight a balanced fight. Hope we won't take too many losses. Ooh, ah, there we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I've always loved those animations. Amazing. All right, a close victory. We took some losses. That's too bad. But uh, ranked up and destroyed the entirety of the army, of course, and we will occupy it. We are the men of Rome. <sighs> we are the men of Rome. All right, so next is to take Cassinum, of course, and at this point we can upgrade and get, let's see, want to go down this path with the pasture. We'll hold off. We're good, we're good, we're good. Actually, I wanted to check 
Yeah, no, we're good. So this army will move forth next turn. So over here, do we want to put them under siege? Recruit some mercenaries and go in? We could do. Could do. We've got the money for it. Who's better? No one, really. One more Illyrian Raiders, if anything. Let's try it. That attack's not going to make a difference, but let's build some towers. And if we can wait three turns, we'll wait three turns. Do I just auto-resolve this? I mean, what will we lose? We might lose some Roman swordsmen. And if we wait three turns, they might come out from Histonium and cause us trouble. I'm worried about losing this, the, uh, the Polybolos. You know what, let's, uh... Let's continue the siege, and maybe they'll sally forth. I get the feeling that they don't have an army here. We can't see one. They might have one tucked away somewhere. But I don't see an army, so let's, uh... Let's bet. Let's bet on it, right? Wow, that turned around. The end of that, that last session really turned... That was a... What's the word? A watershed moment in the history of Rome. What are you trying? What are you trying? Alright. Alright. We've got an army forming up there. We've got an army forming over here. I could raise a small army of my own. Okay, subversion. An enemy champion has assaulted the soldiers guarding your settlement, causing casualties. Okay, another son comes of age. Having developed his skills, this young man is now ready to serve the common good. And an increase in rank for Marcus Fusus, of course. Let's deal with that first. Marcus, my man. Hmm. Now, nah, let's see what else we can do here. Something to help in battle, perhaps. Commit arson, interrogator, harass, which isn't bad, actually. Um. We could go with this. Helps when we're deployed, but that doesn't really work with everything else we've given ourselves. Huh. Might as well do this. Centurion. To help the army. In parent army. Yeah, so let's go with Centurion. And now over here, unfortunately, the great warriors are a little too far, but I could recruit an army and, and cut them down. The other option, of course, is to go towards Cassinum here. Meanwhile, you... Nothing we can do here. Reduce the upkeep cost, make some more money. I mean, maybe. Other option is to take some money here. Um, no real point pulling back. I could pull down and see it, how far in I can see at Cassinum to see if they have any reinforcements or anything like that. Can't see all that far, unfortunately. Um, take some money. Why not? Yes, yes, weak men this and that. Now you, can you actually go in and assassinate somebody? Only a 25% success chance, eh? And it'll cost money that I don't necessarily have. I think I'd rather just push in. Problem is, this army... It goes into regular marching stance. Can it reach a Nagni? I'm not 100% sure. Well, we're going to move forward. Auto resolve that. No need to fight it. We'll be balanced. There we go. Castanum is ours once more. Ah, yes. Truly a glorious day in Rome. Let's get that going here, and let's get you fixed up as well. Lots of agricultural stuff going on, so this province is working out for me as it should. Alright, alright. We are actually losing money now, though. That's not so good. That's not so good. Hopefully we'll turn that around soon. I think we've got some structures on the way. 
we could grow on on the vey we could grow vey and build something here to increase our income once some of these complete we'll be making some more money as well so uh it'll be fine it'll be fine what's the worst that could happen oh well i guess we could do this now negative 15 is that going to be gone yeah negative 20 will be gone soon military presence is only helping by five so we could swap this to be extra taxes let's do it why is latin dropping damn it come on now you know what the better better culture is you know what you want to be? You want to be like me. You want to walk like me. You want to talk like me, too. Alright, they're moving. They're moving, but are they accomplishing anything? Those are two very different things. Seems you to me the answer is no. Yourselves. Your people will curse your name when rivers run red with their blood. Why? 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 I get it, it's called Total War, but give me a minute sometimes. <laughs> give me a minute. Alright. We're bankrupt, I'm aware. My treasury's empty. Yep, yep, we're okay. We're fine. This is not so fine. Negative 21 up in here. It could push through. We're at war with these guys now as well. Could roll them right now, actually, over here. I don't think they have much of a garrison in this small uh, minor settlement. This army might raise a bunch of mercenaries, though. Oh, my God. One thing after the other. One thing after the other. I guess they didn't like me stealing their money. That explains it, I suppose. Right, let's go in. Let's loot them. Why would you declare war on me when you're in this position? Makes no sense. A balanced stance. There we go. Your wealth is now my wealth. Uh, do you want to repair these? I guess I should dismantle everything here. We could go with another agricultural area. Got lots of farms here. Well, I guess we'll repair it. 520. I'm trying to be careful with my expenses right now, but at the same time, I can't let... Uh, I can't let being careful with expenses mean we stagnate. And of course, upgrades and all will result in more wealth as well. Okay, this situation. We can auto-resolve this. Or we wait one turn. The concern with waiting one turn is... Uh, continue that siege. The waiting one turn is that I don't... I've lost sight of that naval force that was over here. And we've got a rebellion popping over here. I want to be able to turn around and respond to that right away if I have to. Now, you know what, actually? That rebellion is guaranteed. So I'm going to cancel this. Not spend the money. Because that would be foolish. And let's get you... Moving where? This way? How far can we get? Pretty far. Just keep our eyes peeled here, basically. I want to see if there's something coming from Terventum. We'll be able to collapse them quickly enough. God, all these agents. All these agents. Alright, what can we build to make more money in a more secure part of our territory? Perhaps this. 200 wealth. Wealth from industry. We don't really have industry here. We have agriculture. We should probably do a small for forming. Farming. Colonia. Colonia. Colonia? Someone tell me. Oh, that's too expensive. That's too expensive. Let's save our money. Let's save our wealth while we wait here. And I do think we should push in. We might lose this Etruscan Polybolos, but uh, it's worth it. We're spending so much money on these mercenaries, I'd like to disband them. So let's auto-resolve this. Now, I could go in and just be careful. Nah, let's auto-resolve this. Protected. Try not to lose much. Okay, good. We only lost some Roman light hoplites. And we will... Shall we loot? It's a lot of money. We'll have to repair everything, though. I don't know if that's a net gain or not. 
Let's take the money. All right, increase in rank for Lucius Furious Medellinus. 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 All right. Yeah, we have to like replace everything anyway. Yeah, it's expensive. It's expensive, but I guess we can dismantle a lot of this stuff. Wouldn't mind one of these. Okay. Proving grounds. So we can get rid of a military building. I don't need that. I think. To dismantle you for free. And we don't need you either. We'll dismantle you for free. This upgrade we'll need to do. So we'll repair. And we'll repair this. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now again, we don't know where the rebellion is going to pop. We just have to brace ourselves. It'll probably be around Teat, Teat, however that's pronounced. We'll give it we'll give it a turn. We'll give it a turn. We'll see where they pop. Now, over here we're fine. I don't know if I want to upgrade this just yet. It will give us levies. Oh I, wow, I misread that last turn. Or last session. Provides garrison, not recruitment. Alright, well that was a waste. Let's get rid of that. And you will no longer be a slum, please and thank you. Antium, we can upgrade. We're making money now, so let's upgrade you. Extra money. Lots of extra money. 300 wealth is big. More growth. More wealth from all sources. Yes. That is a yes from me. And over here, let's do this as well. There we go. All of our money. Well spent. Well spent, I would say. Lucius, leveled up. Come on now. Don't try and hide from me. What's the next step? Plus 10% chance of anticipating an enemy ambush. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now let's go, I think, one more step of tactician. Get that extra movement range happening, I think. Or we could go and get the extra replenishment. Seems like a good time to get extra replenishment, to be honest. Given our current circumstances. We can keep these mercs for now. But pretty soon we're going to have to get rid of them. Otherwise our economy is just going to be so poor. Look at that. We're wasting so much money on these mercs. They're good mercs, but they're expensive mercs. Alright. What's next? Oh, so many agents. That rebellion's gonna pop as well, and we have no idea where. Oh, leave. Wasting your time here. My men are loyal. Oh dear, we're gonna die. Really? I mean, I guess they're all silver ranked. We can try this. We can try this. I'm gonna take this to the battlefield and see what we can do. I don't think I'll be winning. We're gonna waver and fall very quickly, I think, but... Uh, It'd be a fool to not at least try and defend an Agni here. All right, this is gonna be it's gonna be interesting, actually. Oh, is this a night battle? Nope, it's just the city's on fire. <laughs> okay, it's like, ooh, a night battle! Yay! No, not at all. Not at all. Alright, Spears. There aren't that many of you. Oh yeah, okay, we're not... We're not gonna win this. Unless I can get some good rear charges happening. Warm me up. Make some gaps. There we go, good enough. Put you over here. Oh, fire away. Actually, no, there's no point. Put you over here. Begin this battle. See what they do, and uh, yeah, we're not going to defeat them. That, that would be, that would actually surprise me quite a bit. I'm going to want to try and eliminate the swordsmen, I think, as quickly as possible. Those Italian veteran swordsmen, perhaps. They actually have a commander. That's the problem here. Get some shots into these skirmishers. Fair enough. Keep coming. Keep coming. And hopefully we can get some rear charges with these guys. Keep firing. Javelin, man. 
Fight up, Retain! By your command! Swords! Alright. Fire away at the swordsman now. Or let's wait until our friend here is within range. We'll switch targets. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Let's go. Fire away, fire away, fire away. Let's send you after these skirmishers first. Okay, now turn you around. Send one of you up there. Send another one down here. Of course he's under attack. Go back. Alright, he's still chasing these guys off. Starting to give up over here. Alright, let's fire away at these swordsmen. These veteran swordsmen, as it were. Come on. Cut those skirmishers down. What are they against the Roman legions? Nothing. Come on, we must hold this town. We must hold it. Alright, we're scaring these spearmen off. Appius Scevola is still willing to fight. But his men certainly are not. Not much to do but watch. Come on, men. Fight like the gods are watching because they are. One of our units has used all its I can ammunition. assure you the gods are watching. Oh, yeah, look at that. These guys are wavering because they're pathetic and weak and they're not Roman. Surrender. Surrender, you fool. Leave me and my people. Yeah, we got this. I think we've got no, 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 no. They're not. They're not giving up anymore. The men are wavering. What do you mean the men are wavering? Why are you wavering? Stop wavering. No, these guys are back. This isn't good. I guess these guys are out of ammo. Shaking over here. Maybe we need another rear charge. We're about to be rear charged. Come on, men. Hold fast. Our men flee the field of battle. No, 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 no. We were winning. We can't start losing. Drop these spears, scare them off. Scare them off, I said. Our men flee the field of battle. Well, stop. This is a shameful display. Stop fleeing the field of battle, damn it. Keep firing. Keep scaring them off. Come on now. Oh no, we're gone back there. Ah, we're screwed. We're not winning this one. Our men flee the field of battle. Ah. Oh, we should have had this one. We should have had this one. Yeah, we've lost it. Alright, well. I know when defeat is happening. Our men flee the field of battle. At least we put this up a good a fight. Display. Like true Our Romans. Flee the field of battle. This is a shameful Keep display. saying it's a shameful display. It doesn't feel like a good Roman battle. Come on, stop it now. Who knows, maybe we can still turn it around, right? We're causing damage. We're scaring people off. Oh. Oh. Well, hang on then. Hang on, then. Missile infantry. Come on, now. Have we got this? There's no way we've got this. We might have this. Pull off to the side a little bit. Get some clearer shots. We have clear enough shots, actually. Still steady. We're shaking. Come on, a little bit of assistance can go a long way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 don't start giving up on the fight. Fire, 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 fire faster. Fire, I said. Come on. Okay, well, that's not good. This is a shameful display. Pull back, pull back, go, 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 go. Should 
should be able to get away. Alright. Here we go. Moment of truth. Where are you gonna go? To run fire. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back, go, 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 go. We got clear shots on their backs. Come on, men. There we are. Turn around and fire. Clear shots on their backs. Come on. A couple good shots. That's all I need. Oh, God. All right. Good, good. This little back and forth dance. One of our units Damn it. Used all its ammunition. That's what I was waiting for. Swingers! Bound to happen. Alright, so they're definitely steady. 69 of them. They're going to stick around. Keep pushing forward. No, no, no. You can't, you can't do that. Alright. Fire for as long as possible, and then we'll, we'll try and get some surrounds going and see if that'll be enough to break them. Close. Ah, well, at least we caused a lot of damage. There's that. Silver lining thinking, right? I do want to wait until we're out of ammo on these guys. Which is almost. One of our units has used oh, well, all there its ammunition. Let's go. For Rome, men. Die a glorious death. Literally, they're, they're general here. Literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not even the luckiest of stabs would help. Costly enemy victory. You know what? Given the circumstances, I think I'm, I'm okay with how that went. Damn. It's quite unfortunate, though. It's tiny, rebellious army. nudging me over. A valiant defeat, but a defeat nonetheless. Rebellion imminent. There just was one. What are you saying imminent for? Oh, there's going to be another one. That's not so good. That's not so good. There's another rebellion over here. We can crush that army easily enough. Auto-resolve that. Oh. Oh. Uh, I thought we were going to, like, cut his arm off or something. I was like, I don't think I've seen that before. Well, that works for me. This rebellion falls. We will release the captives. Oh, boy, public order. Let's go with the canal here. The consecrated grounds over here. All right. Now, this rebellion... Will continue to grow if I let it. We could raise another army at Rome or something. Could raise another army down here. I'm losing money right now. Don't like it. The other option is to push down here, but it's uh, the thing we're fighting on two fronts that are right next to each other. Here's what we're gonna do: Agrippa, you're gonna move up over here and scout for me. Tell me what my enemies are doing. Do oh, okay. Take some money then, and you can move in to Histonium. Ought to resolve this. Ooh. Yeah, it was a matter of time before we lost this, but it is what it is. Now we will. I should have checked what the settlement had before I just dove in like this. We could subjugate them. Have an ally, so to speak. Nah. We'll loot. Take the money. You'll have to dismantle everything anyway, so... That worked out for me, I think. This one, I might need to repair, which is fine. What's this? We got another recruitment structure. Agriculture. We'll, we'll make some adjustments. We'll make some adjustments. We need to do it quickly, though, before slums start to form. Holy crap! 
How do you have this many armies? Where do you get this many armies from? They're going to move in and they're going to take Corfinium back at this rate. So let's not spend any more money here. And we didn't even destroy... These guys, really? Oh, do they have... Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The Divine Turbulence? That's what's going to keep these guys alive? God damn. All right. Now there's an important decision to make. Do we go chasing after the Stone Men here? Or do we brace ourselves for these guys? Now they can't afford their armies, clearly. They're suffering from attrition. Do I raise another army to deal with this rebellion? Might not be the worst idea. Takes two turns to get there, though, from Rome. All right. Battle Dust Call. Well, let's move up. As far as we can go. Well. Sure, let's force march. Go as far as we can go. Crush that rebellion. It'll help our public order situation as well. It's going to be another rebellion here. I'm wondering if I should recruit more mercenaries. I mean, it just takes one turn, so... That doesn't really matter. But, do we get some cavalry in this army? The answer is yes. Do we get some native Italian swordsmen? No, no, no. These Illyrian raiders are much better. There are a couple more available, literally. Let's get another one of these. That'll help flush this, or rather flesh this army out a little bit. And the next turn, depending on when the re where the Rebellion pops, I'll get some mercenaries and we'll move into attack. In this whole situation I'm not a big fan of. Next turn we'll move into attack. Could maybe send you forth. 22% chance. You know what? I'll take it. Not surprised. But we tried. It was fun. And I think that's where we'll end the turn here. No, well, we could build some of these just to help with our wealth. There we go. I think that's all I'm willing to spend right now. Try and keep our money in the positives. And let's get... Where is there an edict available? We're fine here. We're fine here. I don't control this. Don't control all of this either, though I should start doing something here. There, let's fight public order. Oh, I guess we control this now. Sure, so let's go ahead and get the food and public order. Might as well try and fight this as well as possible. How long is that negative 65 going to stay that way? Negative 35 is only for next turn. Cool, provincial instability is going to drop. Slaves, cultural difference, dear lord. Well, there's only so much we can do about it. Spent so much more money than I wanted to. Gotta spend money to make money. Literally, in this case. Alright, here they come. Don't you dare. Kill you where you stand. Oh my god, I killed him where he stood! <laughs> Amazing. Love it. So many agents. Oh, what's this? Why are you even trying? Oh, I guess it's a suicide run. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll give them the auto-resolve treatment. Wow, we didn't actually finish the entire army off. Okay. Sure. That seems reasonable. Alright, these guys. Oh, they haven't moved in. Ah, damn it. And yet we triumph. All right, a rebellion over there, and over here, and over here, and over here. Man. Not in a good spot right now, as far as our politics is concerned. 22% chance. Hmm. All right, where are these rebellions? There's this one up here. These two armies down here are still... Oh, they're downsizing. They're downsizing for sure. I could push down. I can't reach anybody just yet. 
up here there's this rebellion and I could try to bribe it I suppose 71% chance of success come on baby work for me work for me don't you dare crash game all right so the game crashed fantastic where do we find ourselves now Okay, we're back on this turn. We just need to hit end turn to catch up to where we were. Okay, let's hope it doesn't crash again when we do that. I'm really hoping that this is some of that early access stuff going on here. Oh, we better we better kill him where he stands again. Come on now. Hm. The game just re-rolled its dice. It wanted to win. Didn't want to lose, so it crashed. Yeah, I'm hoping this is just early access woes, and it's not indicative finished product. That is Rome 2. The Rise of the Republic DLC. Alright, come on. We've got this decisive victory. Let's release these captives. It's going to be a bunch of rebellions popping right now, because public order be damned. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Yep, triumph. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, at least he failed. Okay, cool. All right. Now, how are we rolling out here? This rebellious army continues to push through. Why? What are we going to do? Go to Ostia next? All right, well, let's take back Anagni. Just occupy this. There we go. Excellent, at least it helped us rank up, and in fact, I've been waiting for that for a while, because now I want to get... I want to get... where to go? Where did it go? There we go, it enables night battles on land and at sea. Let's get it. Let's do it. Marcus Fusus, you can get back in there. Now this army is beginning to suffer attrition. Fortunately, we can't get there. We could try to assassinate somebody, but that's probably a waste. Try to assassinate you, perhaps. Let's try it. Ha! That was pretty funny. He was like, no, wait! Dead. Alright, these guys are recruiting, though they're suffering from attrition, it looks like. And this rebellious army is right next to our doors. We can't do anything about them. Ooh, hey, the Rebellion popped here this time. Well, that works in my favor, I think. We should be able to just march in. And slaughter them. Let's do it. Oh, cowards. Hell was that? Well, auto-resolve this, of course. No need to fight it. We'll go aggressive. Oh, right, I'm trespassing. I did it to kill the rebels. Trust me, it's good for all of us. I'm gonna pull back. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm not staying there. Where's our forced march? Pull all the way back to... Serenia? Esernia? Esernia. That's my best guess. Right, we're gonna pop in there. Still negative 12. Jeez, we need to do something. Fast. Let's do that. Just drops public order. Do this for the extra public order, I suppose. We've got bread and games going already. We could get this for the extra public order as well. It'll take so many turns, though. So many turns. And I guess we could pull down here and try to steal some money. We've got this army coming through. I don't know if Histonium here is completely undefended. I probably should have stayed there, actually. We'll just take it back if it gets taken. It's not like we spent any money on it, so that's fine. And you've leveled up, so let's get ourselves... Hmm. Well, no, let's go with the Unrelenting Force. That's what that plus 12% looks like. And, uh... Also... No need to up that, I don't think. Let's get the increased replenishment rate. God, the public order buff is feeling... I'm feeling it right now. I'm feeling that crunch. Feeling that desperation, but no, I won't fall for it. Punishment and armor and all instead. 
Okay, I think that's this turn. Well, no, you, my good friend. You will serve by pushing down south and exploring enemy advances. Ah, see? I can hold this. Can't afford anything. Wondering if we shouldn't cancel something, because that's a full 20 stack. Got these guys down here as well. They're going to roll in. War on too many fronts. War on far too many fronts. There's rebellion here as well. Where do I get all these slaves from? Okay, well, let's see what this results in. Not a very good situation for me. All right, we're going to lose this. Oh, we have a chance to fight it. Um. Oh, God. I'm worried if I fight this, then it'll just be a repeat of what we just had last time. On the one hand, that's good for me. But on the other, it's so extremely boring. Well, you know what? We're going to try to defend. If I don't have to take Histonium over again, I'd prefer that. So let's try it. Let's take this to the battlefield. Alright. Okay, so I think they're going to land properly this time. It's a huge beach over there. I probably shouldn't have fought this. This one's probably a waste. Uh, we don't even know where they're going to come in from. If they're going to land over there, probably fight over here. Ooh, really epic lighting. Okay, let's do this. I mean, we could stand over here and try firing away as they try to land. Maybe. Try that. No. Come on. Look for your brothers in arms, men. They are your true shield. Stand firm. Are you just gonna go out for a swim? No, I didn't think so. Go here, obviously. Or you know what? Fine, come here even. There we go. Guard mode. Let's try and kill as many of them as possible. This lightning and thunder is actually pretty epic. I'm liking it. Alright, good, good. They've given up. At least they've stopped. Keep firing away. Come on now. We should be getting some kills. Come on, come on. Give me some good shots. There we go, one guy died. A couple more, there we go, excellent. Wish their boats would crash or something. Alright, we're getting some damage in here. They remain confident, but that's okay. They're allowed. Spears coming out on the beaches there. I should have attacked them as they landed. That would have been the wiser thing to do, actually. Oh, well, too late now. Skip forward here, so we're not just slowly watching this battle unfold. Keep firing. Come on now. Alright, we got some spears landed. Fire away on these raiders, get them to give up perhaps before they make landfall. Nope, there's that landfall. Well, we did a fair bit of damage, so at least there's that. All right, there we go. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Go back. They're seriously just going to chase us there because they can't see these units. That's amazing. Is 
that that's hilarious. There we go, they're turning around. No, 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 they're still chasing. Alright, well... It's definitely something special. Alright, let's turn around and fire over here. They're probably gonna try to get to the city center now. Or maybe they've spotted... No, they haven't spotted me yet. Right, let's try and get rid of these guys. 18 of them left. Let's pull back. Pretty sure, yeah, they've seen me now. Come on, come at me. Turn around, fire, scare them off. There's raiders as well. Okay, let's move in. Concerned about the swords. Get far away over here, come on. Close them down. 15. Come on, a couple more volleys, a couple more good volleys here. There we go, 13, 10. So close. Pull back. Hopefully, we drop these guys soon. around and fire. I just want to get into the backs of these hoplites and whatnot, or hoplites. We should be coming out on top over here. Come on. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Here we go. Don't get recharged. Oh, here they come. Our general is under attack. Thankfully, these guys are still on their boats. Let's go. I just need a couple volleys into these units. Faster, faster. There's only like five of these guys left, so that's pretty cool. Alright. Should be able to pull this off. Alright. Yeah, go the other way. Go the other way. Don't come this way. 36 of these hoplites left. They're steady for now, but hopefully not for much longer. Might sacrifice some of these units back here. Oh my god. This does look pretty fantastic. Causing so much friendly fire right now. Oh yeah. We got him. Probably good over here as well. Literally just five of them left. They're shaken, these guys are wavering, they will rout pretty soon, I'm sure. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Of course it has. For glory. These guys are gonna give up. Now that's all that's gonna be left. Your orders. Steady. Steady. Yep, that's all that's gonna be left. At least for causing damage. Alright, well, so uh, uh, here's what we're going to do. I am um, going to push up, see if we can't bait these guys to beach, to land, to, you know, whatever. Get here, please. And failing that, failing that, going to have another epic. Yeah, it's looking like it. We have a fair bit of ammunition left, so if we're lucky, we'll actually be able to scare these guys off. Rather than having to wait down the timer. Come on, just surrender. Just give up. I wish I could swim out and, like, climb onto their boats now. We're running out of ammo. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Alright, guys. I guess I'll, uh... One of our units has used all its ammunition. I guess I'll see you on the flip side. Quick little edit.
action here. And uh, we'll be good. We'll, we'll be... We'll be good. Glorious Roman defenders. Yeah. And so, despite the enemy's use of some pretty clever military tactics, it is, at the end of the day, superior Roman city planning and military maneuvering that wins us a decisive victory. Merely decisive? I don't know. I would almost call it heroic. Glory for Rome. Mars is watching. Hmm. Look at that. That was a long battle. <laughs> Alright, enough for the jokes. I really hope these things are fixed. We'll see. Time, time will tell, right? Time will tell. Uh, we'll release the captives. We'll take the money. There's plenty of rebellions and all happening right now. I kind of forgot, lost track of exactly what's going on in the campaign as I waited. But uh, lots of rebellions is part of the answer. Oh, battle deployment over here. We can auto-resolve this. I need to fight this one. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Decisive victory, release the captives again, get that money. And another battle. Alright. Auto resolve this too. Aggressive stack. Come on. Oh, finish him off. Come on now. Well, I mean, I'll take the decisive victory. This time we'll kill the captives. Alright, those guys are backing off. These guys are coming up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Carthaginian slaves! A fleet of Carthaginian slave ships arrives at one of your ports. The slave master requests a personal audience and asks to sell his slaves in your cities. Mm. Don't know if I want personal slaves. I don't know if I... Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of money now, but I think there are better places to spend the money. I have no use for what a foreign sword has earned. Leave. Don't get too salty about it. You have completed a technological advancement, giving you an advantage over your right. Yes, okay, cool. Mission successful. We finished that chapter. The Latin people are our cousins. The people of the mountains, on the other hand, are more of a pain in the neck than an itch. They both hold territories in immediate proximity. Oh, this is the success. Right, okay, cool. So we've got ourselves a spy and a lot of money. Cool. Rebellion imminent up here. A new objective. Completely control seven provinces, either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. That's a lot more money coming our way. Our horizons widen. To the south lie territories with fertile lands and rich coastal waters. To the north, barbarians roam the hills. It seems that we face two different priorities of equal intensity. The simplest course of action is to conquer them both. I agree. I agree. And that's exactly what we will do. But first, let's just take a look at our situation right now. We've got these rebels over here growing their forces. Hopefully we can uh, mess their day up. We've got these rebels over here that we can crush right now using this legion. We can crush the Howling Wolves as well, hopefully. Now this rebellion is actually going to be a problem at Cicero. Because we don't have such a grand garrison or anything. Hmm. Don't like that. I don't like that at all. Now, I could try and sue for peace down here. They've got... It's 20 stack, and they've got this 12 stack. I didn't want this war. I really and truly did not want this war. Come on. Welcome, I suppose. No. Oh, that means I have the upper hand. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have the upper hand is the thing. See, like, I've got to send this 17 stack defending Alba over here, perhaps. I mean, I could push right in. I can eliminate this 20 stack. They seem like pretty weak units. You know, I could actually come out on top over here. Lots of slingers we can chase down. I could recruit some more mercenaries. Right. They could roll right in, eliminate this army. Oh, can we actually reach them in a regular marching stance? No. No, we can't. Maybe I could drive them. 51% chance of success. I don't know. I don't, maybe we'll test the waters and then decide if we want to ask for peace here. I hate asking for peace, but over here, we most certainly have to deal with the situation. The Howling Wolves, I think, are going to fall apart, but this rebellion, we need to kill it before it grows too strong. Of course, they will cower in fear. Aggressive stance, there we go. Release captives, we'll take the money. Nice. And before we decide on that, let's pull down over here and kill the Howling Wolves as well. 
It's an ambush. And it's a night attack. And it's an auto resolve assault. Kill them all. Yeah, release the captives. We'll take that money. I can use that money. And now I can force march kind of far. You can get kind of far. The other option is to try to get up over here. I, I think I need to stop this whole situation. That's kind of scaring me, to be honest. Now, what's the deal? Negative five public order over here. How quickly can we stop that? Not quickly enough. I could turn off the taxes. That's one thing. I can stop taxes for a little while across the board. Um, stop taxing them. Zero our income drops a little bit, but I'd rather that than uh, rebellions across the board. Goes to negative five. I'd rather trigger this rebellion, I think. Not sure where it'll pop up, but I think I'd rather trigger it. And over here, we might want to do the Altar of Jupiter. It'll take three turns, but it'll be worth it. And Rome, we can expand and build something new over here. Yeah, there's a lot we can do. There's a lot we can do. And we might want to actually push you into this legion again. Uh, there's this rebellion as well. You know what? I might actually super piece here. And then I can go down and crush this rebellion before it takes Corfinium from us. Hmm. Something to think about. Lots to think about, but I'll be thinking about that for next session. I'm going to call it here. Now, I might actually record the next episode uh, before you guys are watching this episode. It won't be a back-to-back -back recording, though, so maybe some of the name suggestions will be in, uh, depending on how this week plays out. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series as well. Again, the DLC should be releasing if I have my dates right today. So if you've purchased it, I hope you enjoy. If you are thinking about purchasing it, if you have any questions or whatever, let me know. I do have a Humble Bundle link that I've included in the description down below and should be under the eye at the top right corner of the screen as well. If you use that link, then it helps not only the channel, but also charity. So please do consider doing that. I humbly request it. And as always, I'd like to just give a big old thank you to all of my patrons who support this channel on a month-to-month -month basis. It makes a huge difference in keeping us alive and running smoothly. And a massive thanks to you as well for watching. Till next time, cheers.